وقل الحمد لله الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك say all praise is due to Allah who did not take anyone as a son or as a child and he has not associated or he has not got anyone as a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-anbiya and this is a very interesting point he is now describing to us in a different way that if there was more than one Allah then there would be chaos that is why there is one and there can only be one why would there be chaos Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لو كان فيهما آلهة إلا الله لفسدتا and in another verse in surah al-mu'minun Allah says ما اتخذ الله من ولد وما كان معه من إله إذا لذهب كل إله بما خلق ولا على بعضهم على بعض Allah says the Allah has not taken a son and there is no one as a partner with Allah he does not have a partnership like we have partnership in business and so on this one has 50 percent that one has 50 no there is no partnership because if there was a partnership the Quran says every one of them would want to become haughtier than the other higher than the other you know when you have two partners in business 50 50 one says it's me who's running the business the other one says no it's me one says no i'm the one who secures all the deals the other one says no it's me who actually sends the customers there the one says i do the hard work and the other one says no it's me who does the hard work subhanallah one of them will tell you i'm the one who made the microphone work and the other one will tell you no it's me may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding so this is why it's important that we realize it's impossible for there to be more than one creator the country cannot have more than one president. Why? Because they would not know what their portfolios are. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. They, there would be confusion and there would be chaos on earth. So that is also a means of drawing our attention to the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one. Then Allah draws our attention in Surah An-Naml of so many different items He has created. And after every verse, He says, A ilahum Allah. Is there a creator or is there a Rabb? Is there a God with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Look at all the creatures. Is there someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Nay, there isn't. Allah says, but many of them don't understand. Many of them don't realize. And Allah says, no. After he asks the question a third and a fourth time, he says, Glory be unto Allah. He is above all that they are describing and ascribing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect every single one of us.